I felt like I was doing this map forever. I know I have said I've disliked many maps in this game solely because of how most of the maps are pointless because of you can basically just walk two seconds to get to the exit. But so far, I gotta say, and probably for the rest of this game, this is probably my least favorite map of them all. I do not like this map, especially if you're trying to work towards 100%. Again, if you had to take your time in floors 13 and 20, you really had to do that in this map. And the first big problem I have this map is in the white room, there is that long sequence of pushing that one wall that leads to absolutely nothing. But if you know, you know where to push it, it counts for eight secrets. And you have to wait for enemies to like get out of that path because if the path is blocked that secret will not be able to be interrupted the exit also behind the secret in that first room also um, which implies you can skip the rest of this map again it's mandatory but again it's not as obvious but it's still like right there at the beginning um, of course the mazes as well can be a little bit confusing at first uh, to more packed rooms with many enemies, especially the ones with the bats, 
and you have to know where these rooms are to try to save for some ammo. As far as it being a little more challenging and reasonable than more maps though, it's definitely one of the better ones, despite though having the exit right at the beginning, and no keys are needed to complete it, but again, especially because of that first room with that one secret, I'm not really a fan of this map at all. Again, it's probably my least favorite overall in this game. Definitely tricky for sure if you want to get 100%. You have to know some of like the secret tricks and whatnot. But that is floor 14, guys. On to floor 15 in the next video. We have one more map before our next boss battle, and we don't have too many left as well in this game. I'll see you guys in floor 15. Until then, I am the Club of the Man, 1993.